what Bob is going to demonstrate for us later in the show uh, about empowering the seniors to be able to control home items. And mm -hmm. did you want to speak a little bit about technology for a bit? Sure. Um, I think what I uh, definitely hope people take away from the demonstration later and uh, in our conversation today is that there's a range of things that can be done and there is actually a large amount of things that can be done very affordably and that are easy to set up by almost anyone in your family uh, with just a little bit of time. Uh, things to allow a person to turn lights on and off, uh, fans, uh, air conditioner, uh, even if they have limited hand function or, uh, or possibly even significant paralysis just using their voice. Um, and these are things that are out there. They're consumer items at this point. Um, people are using them for convenience, um, even if they do not have disability, but for people who do have, e who are either elderly or disabled, they can get a lot of mileage out of these items. So uh, I'll be happy to show those off later. Thank you. We're going to have a short demonstration with our resident engineer who goes into people's homes that are part of the independence care system organization as members and he actually helps them become more independent and it's a great way to end the show. Thank you for doing that for seniors and thank you for coming on the show. Thank you. Thank thank you, you for having us. He's going to give us a demonstration now about these items on the table and supposing that I'm a senior and I'm not a senior yet, supposing, um, he's going to demonstrate how they're activated through voice and through remote control. That is correct. So tell us, how would the voice control know which item would I say, a white table lamp, a black fan? What would I do if I were a senior? Mm -hmm. uh, so I want to show kind of two categories of things, as you mentioned. I want to show some remote control stuff and the voice activated stuff, which you just mentioned. So uh, first the remote control, um, I'll show those together. Um, this is for the situation where you have a person who uh, still has some hand function. They can use a remote but they have trouble either getting out of their bed or out of their wheelchair, so they can't get to the item. They can't actually get to the lamp or to the fan, but they can hold a remote. So uh, in this case, I'll uh, use this remote to control this light and this fan. Um, so in this case, I'm able to turn the lamp on. I can turn the lamp off. I can turn this fan on, as you see, and I can also turn the fan off now, like that. Now, uh, as a senior at home who has dexterity issues and mobility issues, uh, also vision issues, I'm sure, sometimes. How would I know which button is controlling which item? Right, uh, that can be a sticking point. So uh, in this particular setup, what we do is um, each, each item um, gets a row, and then there's on-off on each row. So what we do normally is we'll either put a piece of colored tape or a label or whatever is easiest for the person. Sometimes there's a sticker we put on that has some texture to it so they can even just feel it. Mm -hmm. They don't even need to, uh, it's not even sight, it's just feeling it. Um, and that cues them into which one to press. So for instance, maybe you could put some uh, blue paint on the second button and maybe put a big blue circle on that and they can remember, oh, it's blue and it controls the thing that has the blue on it, such as the TV? For sure. Every case is a little bit different, but for example, that would work just great. Wonderful. So that would be the remote control. And how many items can the remote control uh, effect. Sure. So there's many different um, ones on the market. So again, everything I'm showing here today is off-the-shelf things you could just order off of Amazon or buy from a store. And uh, this particular brand, uh, it lets you control five different things from the same remote. Uh, you could, of course, get a second remote to control another five. But uh, this particular remote, it's five in one go. And how many items do typical seniors living at home or in an assisted living have programmed into one of those? You know, I, I find that one, one remote of that sort is usually about right. Usually they'll have a few lamps, a fan, maybe a space heater, for example, um, and that will that about do it. Uh, did I hear you tell me once before that it can also control the blinds, the window blinds, or is that a different remote control system? Um, so th some things that are uh, larger motorized type things, such as blinds or a hospital bed, uh, that's more of a, a custom job. So this demonstration is more of the off the shelf. You could buy it real quick and anyone, you know, anyone from your family could set it up for you very easily in, you know, just 10 minutes. They could just plug it in and it's good to go. Um, window blinds and stuff is a larger setup, but that can be done. Okay. Now, are these... Uh remote control devices, are these being used in nursing homes as well as uh, at home use for seniors? Um, I'm most aware of their use in the home setting, mm -hmm. but uh, there's nothing that precludes uh, any particular environment from using them. All that it requires is uh, you get the, when you buy this, 
you get this remote and you get um, uh, uh, this little box, it's this little white box about the same size as the remote. It plugs into your wall and then where you were plugging into the wall, you plug into the box instead. So anywhere that has outlets. Oh, that sounds like a use. very easy setup for just about any it's, handy person. It's, it's very, very straightforward. Okay, let's do the fun stuff now. How does the voice activation system work? Sure. Can you demonstrate? I'll, I'll demonstrate that. So what I have on the table here to demonstrate for the voice is uh, that other fan lamp and then this TV. So we'll, we'll give it a go. Um, Alexa? Turn on lamp. Okay. Alexa, turn on fan. Okay. That's fantastic. Uh, and now I'm gonna I'm gonna turn off those two things, and I'll show the TV. Um, Alexa, turn off fan. Okay. Alexa, turn off lamp. Okay. That's excellent. Uh, so now I'll show the TV, uh, if we have a minute for that. Uh, Alexa, turn on TV. Okay. So what this is turning on now should be uh, both the TV and underneath the TV there's a DVD player there. With uh, I have a DVD in there, so what I'll show once it starts up, uh, the DVD, once that starts up that is, I will show it playing the movie because you can also control the movie through your voice. You can control play, pause, stop. That's fantastic. That. Um, Alexa, play. Okay. And now it starts playing. Uh, Alexa, pause. You can see okay. a pause. Um, I'll even go to the next scene. Please. Alexa, next. Okay. And now it's gone to the next scene. And uh, just to kind of close the loop, I'll, I'll turn it off. Alexa, turn off TV. Okay. And there it turns off. And uh, so there's a lot you can do with that. Uh, this type of setup lets you control anything that originally had a remote, such as your TV or DVD player, or if you have a radio stereo system, anything like that. Um, air conditioner, things that had a remote, but you don't have the dexterity to press those buttons anymore, or the vision, or whatever it is, uh, unless you use voice How for How is things. the independence MLTC involved with the sale or promotion or um, introduction of the remote control for seniors? Mm -hmm. So we try to, um, independence care system tries to uh, of course, increase the independence of its members in whatever way it can. So what we're trying to do is um, by giving them these very affo these are extremely affordable items. How much? Um, as we're talking, let's say fifty dollars, another uh, sixty dollars. Let's say for you know between a hundred and two hundred dollars, you can do a lot. Um, and actually, in a limited case, if you just want a remote, that's like thirty dollars. So actually, sub two hundred dollars, and in some cases, sub one hundred dollars. You can uh, let a person from their wheelchair be turning a lot of things on and off, changing a lot of things. Having independence, which is Having a wonderful name for your organization. Yeah. But who pays for it? Do you pay for it for the seniors, or do they have to fund it themselves? Uh, so there, there is a there is a budget when it fits within budget, which it often does. We do buy these things for seniors, um, and you know members of our organization. Uh, when uh, we actually do also provide installation services in some cases where it's outside of budget, they can afford it, but then we help them get it set up. The install is very easy, but sometimes they don't have a family member or someone who can help out, so yeah. we'll, we'll help out. Yeah. So, Bob, who would be the person at Independence that a member would contact to get this? Would it be a case manager or whom? Who would they contact? Right. Uh, so the f the workflow is that they have their care manager put in a service request for uh, engineering services, um, and then uh, someone like myself will be sent out to uh, assess, see what would most benefit them. So, you know, to speak with them, see what they're having trouble with. Um, see what see what is that gap between what they wish they could do and what they want to do, and then buy those things that will fit that fill that gap. This I had great. no idea that an MLTC would provide engineering services to seniors. So I'm getting to be even more in love with your organization to helping seniors. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a great organization, and uh, yeah, I hope that uh, a takeaway is also though if if you don't have access to that organization or similar that you at least know this stuff is out there. Yes. And if you have the means that you do uh, take the steps to, to get it if you're interested. A lot of people don't even know it exists. So uh, to at least show people it's out there, please set yourself up with it.
So viewers, um, we wanted to leave you on that note to know that if you have a loved one at home that needs to have access to such a product that they exist, and if they're not on an MLTC already, first they have to be on Medicaid to qualify to be on an MLTC. Uh, but if you're considering an MLTC membership, certainly uh, independence is one that wants to make a senior become more independent.